Power is something that has you know, some set amount of time with it, but influence is never owned. Influence is rented, and the rent is due every day. And whether people choose to give you influence is dependent upon your ability to inspire healthy, positive, encouraging, uplifting action for them. What is influence? And what is the difference between influence and power? That's an important question. It's an important to understand the distinction and the differences between these two concepts because it will ultimately affect and shape the trajectory of your life as a leader, as uh, an influencer, and as somebody who is a mission-driven messenger just making a positive impact in the world. And so I think we should start by my definition of influence. So this is for the, from the Rory Vaden uh, Dictionary of Definitions. To me, influence is very simple. Influence is simply the ability to inspire action. That's it. The ability to inspire action. If I can influence myself, then that means I can coach myself, I can talk to myself, I can create plans for myself that inspire me to take action, that inspire me to move, that inspire me to overcome procrastination. And a lot of my early writing in, in my career with my Take the Stairs book um, and my Procrastinate on Purpose book were all about overcoming procrastination because procrastination and indulgence is the thing that holds us steady. It's the thing that holds us stagnant. It's the thing that holds us stuck, that holds us back. And so if I'm influencing myself, I am able to inspire myself to take action. If I'm influencing another person, which we kind of refer to as sales or persuasion, then it's the same thing. I'm able to inspire them to take action. If I am influencing a team, then that is leadership, I am inspiring a small group of people to take action. And if I am inspiring a community, or if I'm influencing a community, we call that personal branding, which is moving a whole group, a large group of people to take some action in their life. And that's what influence is, the ability to inspire action in yourself, in another person, in a small group, or in a large group, ultimately, in the world. But how is that different from power? And what is the concept of power? Um, it's interesting because this takes me all the way back to my undergraduate work. And one of the classes that I took, you know, I was a student at Denver University, DU, or Dollars Unlimited, as I often say, and I loved my time at DU. And one of the most popular classes at DU is, was at that time a class called Money, Sex, and Power. And one of the reasons why I think it was one of the most popular classes is because if you've ever heard us talk about the five title tests, the title of a, cl of a class called Money, Sex, and Power is a great, is a great title. Um, but the, the work in the class was we, we studied a lot about power and you know, we studied people like Machiavelli, uh, you know, where the ends justify the means and these things. And we looked at what power is. And, and through, the, through the, the course of my years as an academic, and you know, I ended up getting a, an MBA and my undergrad was in leadership and management and accounting. That's what I studied as an undergrad. I spent a lot of time looking at this leadership, influence, power. It's really been my whole life. And to me, the difference between power and influence is actually very subtle. And in the Roy Vaden Dictionary, it's really only one word difference. See, I would say influence is the ability to inspire action. I would say power is the ability to force action, right? So that's the difference. It's the difference is inspiration versus force. Um, force is I make you do something. Somebody that has a gun to your head, somebody that is is in a position of authority can make you do something, either through physical force, uh, through you know, mental force of intimidation. Um, a boss has power, right? A, a CEO has power, a politician has power. They can force things to happen to some extent. Um, but the way the world is moving, which I think is fascinating, I, I love it. I'm, 
I'm, for the most part, excited about the direction and the future of the world because I think the world is moving away from power and it is moving towards influence. The, the influence is the ability to inspire action, not force action, right? A, a police officer can force action, a judge can force action, a boss, a parent can force action. But what is really the mastery level of influence is not to just force action, but to inspire action. When I force action, I'm making you do something. When I inspire action, I am drawing action out of you. I am, uh, the word inspire in biblical terms means to breathe life into. That's what the word inspire means, right? It's beautiful. This idea that I would, I would breathe life into something. I'm not forcing something, I'm, I'm breathing life into it. I'm breathing life into a vision, into a possibility, into a goal, into an idea, into a company, or into some life change, into some action. That is what inspiration is, to breathe life into. It, it's not that I'm forcing it, it's, it's that I'm empowering it. I am a calling for it, I am, I am calling it forth. I'm, I'm helping to, to, um, to birth it, to fan the flames. But I don't make it happen, and influence is much harder than power. It's, it's much harder to acquire influence because power is something that you, you, you have to give me. Like once I'm in power, whether I force my way there or you, you know, vote me there or allow me to be there or you choose to believe that I am in a position of power, um, then I have said control over you uh, or, you know, mostly control. But influence is different. Influence is something that you have to grant me and not just grant me once, but you have to grant me every time I talk to you, every time I see you, every time we have a conversation, every time we have an idea. Influence, to take the rent axiom from Take the Stairs, where I said success is never owned, success is only rented and the rent is due every day. Well, that's how influence is. Influence is never owned. Influence is only rented and the rent is due every day. Power is a term that you have for you know, four years if you're a politician or you know, 18 years if you're a parent or while you're wearing a badge if you're a police officer or why you have the job title if you're the manager at work. Power is something that has you know, some set amount of time with it, but influence is never owned. Influence is rented and the rent is due every day. And whether people choose to give you influence is dependent upon your ability to inspire healthy, positive, encouraging, uplifting action for them. So that's the difference between inspiration and power. By definition, it's only one word. The ability to force things to happen is power. The ability to inspire action is influence. But what I would suggest is that you can be both, and it's not bad to be both, but what you really want is influence. You want the ability to facilitate things to happen, to call out the best in other people, and to call out the best in yourself. So go out into the world and grow your influence.